Creation of this work was made possible in part by Artist Trust, who graciously cut me a check for $1,400 so that I could make three short films. Now, I'm only telling you this because $1,400 for a man in my position is an exciting thing. So exciting that it wasn't until I was waiting in line at the bank that I realized I had no clue what those three films should be about. I mean, should they be political, something with a message, or maybe some animation with stupid jokes and talking polar bears? I just didn't know. But that's when I saw the security cameras. And I realized, damn hell, I'm in a film right now. All it needed was a title. And a love story. And a chase scene. And there it was, the first film was done. And you know, with the first one in the can, I really began to loosen up. So much so that I marched right down to blow some of that grant money on a brand new video camera. And I was paying pretty close attention. But it wasn't until the guy started rattling on about batteries and lenses and optical zoom settings that I woke up to what was happening. Lo and behold, I was in the middle of making my second film of the day. And it was brilliant. Sheer brilliance. All I had to do was thicken the plot a little. Got that switch there. That is uh, infrared. And the cool thing about infrared is you can shoot in complete darkness. I'm talking about last week. I filmed some raccoons going through my garbage cans in the backyard. The possibilities are really endless. You could do just about anything. Could you use it to kill a man? What was that? Hypothetically, of course. You could use it to hunt a man down in the dark. This is what they give to the military now, isn't it? Well, actually... To the snipers, lying in ambush, waiting to draw a bead on their next target. You know, I'd die to be a sniper. Well, maybe not die. But I'd kill for it. And what do you know? Two films finished before lunchtime, and two-thirds of my commitment to Artist Trust was over. And you know, at this rate, I was really tempted to try and pull off a hat trick by the end of the day. But something inside me said, slow down. Take it easy. You have the time. You have the money. Now let's do it right. But, unfortunately, that's as far as the shooting got. Evidently, it takes more than time and money to complete a film. And I'm not going to bore you with excuses. The point is, it never got finished. But I still want to stick to my own bargain, so here's the rest of it in its original screenplay form. Now, it won't be easy, but try to keep up. There's a great scene towards the end with a Corvette and a talking polar bear. <laughs> 